What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and man, have I an interesting video for you all. So as you may have seen yesterday, Elon Musk announced that they're going to be doing away with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. Everyone was quite surprised. However, I was not because I've been expecting a couple of changes with Tesla. And I think that this is the indication that those changes are going to happen very, very soon. Up until about 2017, Tesla had been introducing a newer, larger battery for the S and X about once a year. That was before what I'm calling the Model 3 apocalypse. Tesla had issues with the Model 3 production and were not seeing the production volume increase like they wanted. This put a severe financial strain on Tesla's situation and I think put a hold on all new products, which is why we did not see any major updates on the S and the X and have not for the last couple of years. Now that production for Model 3 is at healthy levels, Tesla is now focusing on their new production pipeline, Model Y, pickup, Roadster, semi-truck, all things we know Tesla has talked about to date. Aside from Electric's leak on the interior redesign of the S and X, we haven't really seen much chatter about anything new on those two vehicles. Doing away with the 75 kilowatt hour battery, I think will pave the way for two really huge things that I have been expecting. Number one, a larger battery size. Number two, faster supercharging, AKA supercharger V3. So let's dig into these things a little bit more and I'll build my case for why I think these two big things are coming. As I mentioned, it's been about two and a half years since we've seen a battery pack improvement in S and X, whereas previously they had been increasing range by about 5% annually. I think it's due time for a battery improvement. We know that Tesla has the ability to offer a longer range vehicle based on what we've seen with the Roadster and the semi-truck. What we don't know is will Tesla use the current battery cells, the 18650, which breaks down to 18 millimeters wide and 65 millimeters tall. What we don't know is will Tesla use current battery cells, the 18650, will they use the batteries currently used in the Model 3, the 2170 cells, or something completely different that we do not know yet. Here's what we know so far. So Elon said in an interview with MKBHD last year that doubling the modules of the Roadster would only increase the volume of the pack 80% or four to five inches higher. I think of it like basically, uh, it's like two uh, Model S uh, P100 packs. Yeah. Uh, but but you're really just doubling the the, the, in, the internals, the, the, set, the cells inside. So there's like a lot of, stuff that's related to the pack and the packaging and the safety and all that sort of stuff that um, is uh, not related to the cell. So you can double the, 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 the number of modules inside and at, at with, but it, it would still be like maybe an 80% increase in the volume of the, the packs. Like the floor would get four, four or five inches higher if, if, that, if it was current technology. So, but, um, but, but we would, we, we think we'll probably get um, another, Maybe 20%, t 10, at least 10, maybe 20% improvement. Because we'll use, like, like, the thing about like an expensive car is we can use the, the state of the art, the most advanced yeah. e equipment. Like, but can the Model S and X afford to lose five inches of volume height in its current design? So I think it's either a redesign of the architecture of the S and X to fit the 80% increase in volume height, change the battery pack designed to include the 2170 cells or something yet to be announced. If they use the 2170 cells, they'd still need to do a slight redesign of the architecture of the car since they are three millimeters or 0.12 inches wider and five millimeters or 0.2 inches taller than the current 18650 cells that are in the S and X today. Switching to the 2170 cell seems like the most plausible option with the most minimal redesign. Using 2170 cells in the S and X would also allow Tesla 
further economies of scale by moving to a single battery cell technology instead of two, which is what they have been doing to date. The potential switch also aligns with the end of Tesla and Panasonic's agreement of 2 billion 18650 cells that was announced way back in 2013. It's crazy because I actually remember that. I remember them announcing that and that was such a big deal for Panasonic to work with at the time, still a very small company in Tesla. And according to my estimates and Tesla's delivery numbers for S and X, Tesla hit that 2 billion number sometime late last year, 2018. This brings me to my second point, Supercharger V3. I believe version 3 is completely dependent on the 2170 cells. According to an Inside EV article, the older Model S and X battery packs, which contain the 18650 cells, had two cooling ribbons to distribute the coolant, with each pass of the ribbon responsible for cooling about 258 cells. With the 2170 battery pack, Tesla redesigned the cooling system to better keep the cells cool. Now a single ribbon only has to cool 164 cells, which implies better cooling at higher temperatures. Furthermore, a breakdown of a Model 3 by the YouTube channel Engineerix notes that the charging cable on the Model 3 appears to be able to take a higher rate. Note the size of these cables. Um, they're huge. They're way bigger than you found in S and X. So that implies that 3 is capable of a higher rate supercharge than uh, S and X at present. They are very big. The big connector going into the top of the PCS or penthouse. Finally, if this is not convincing enough, Elon also stated recently that version 3 of supercharging would arrive sometime in early 2019. In conclusion, if Tesla moves to the 2170 cells for the S and X, it should, by nature of the battery architecture, be able to withstand an upgrade from 120 kilowatt charge rate to something higher. Both Elon and J.B. Straubel are on the record saying that they think 350 kilowatts is too high. Here's what Elon had to say on a Q1 2018 quarterly call. We're definitely going to be improving our supercharger's technology. The thing about the 350 kilowatt charger is that it doesn't actually make a ton of sense unless you got a monster battery pack or have like a crazy high C rating. We think 350 kilowatts for a single car, you're gonna frag the battery pack if you do that. You cannot charge a high energy battery pack at that rate unless it's a very high kilowatt battery pack. So for us, something along the couple of hundred, 200 to 250 kilowatt, maybe. If Tesla moves to a 250 kilowatt supercharger, this is about a 2x improvement on its current 120 kilowatt charge rate. This could potentially get a 0 to 100% charge in about 30 minutes. If we apply Tesla's current approach of charging quickly on the front end, then slowing down as the battery gets closer to a full charge, we might see an 80% charge in 15 minutes or less. Could this also impact the size of the battery in the S and X? Elon has said on multiple occasions that he does not see the battery going beyond 120 kilowatt hours, but perhaps he meant based on the 18650 cells. What do you think? Do you think we'll see a battery pack and range increase here in the next couple of weeks? I'd love for you to sound off in the comments. I appreciate everyone's attention in watching this video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a regular, hit that like button and I'll see everyone on the next video.